You've got a tune to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, and you can find us online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. I'm super excited to have Speedy Ortiz back in the KEXP studios. Welcome back. Thanks, Cheryl. Love, love, love the new album, Foil Deer. Are you going to play some new songs from that for us? I think we're only going to play songs from that for Excellent. you. Excellent. Well, why don't you kick us off with a couple of tracks, and then we'll catch up. Okay. This is The Graduates. It's Speedy Ortiz live on KEXP, a brand new album out just a little over a month ago called Foil Deer. Got another one? Yeah, this is Raising the Skate.
walk around the block again Wait till I feel cool and straight With a diaristic bent on undertaking Ortiz live on KEXP. You all sound so great. You're playing tonight at Barboza here in Seattle. We are so excited to have you here today. Thank you again so much. Thanks for having us back here. It's such a great record, Foil Deer. You just heard two new songs from that. And Sadie, I know that you were touring at a breakneck pace uh, prior to making this record. And I heard you sort of retreated. Uh, it sounded kind of like a retreat, the environment in which you put yourself to record this record. I, a lot of swimming, I heard, convening with nature. Yeah, um, my mom lives in very rural northern part of Connecticut where there's like less than a thousand people in this whole town. And uh, she lives right in the middle of the woods with like bears constantly knocking on her door, um, deer and the like. So I, I mostly stayed there and wrote these after probably we were on tour since the last time we saw you, I think. Wow. Uh, which was like two years ago. So that, might, so that was that a little bit of a shock to the system, uh, probably a welcome one, but to, to kind of, I don't know if you were isolated, if there, were, there was a lot of social uh, um, aspect around that. These guys would come hang out on weekends and we work on songs. So my social life is in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Foil Deer is our Walden. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you introduce uh, these uh, social fellas here? Introduce yourselves, <laughs> she boys. Can't, she can't remember your name. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Do we all have mics? I play bass. I don't think our mics are all functioning. Oh. I can well, introduce Devin on guitar. Well, our bassist is Darl. He's uh, talking into a microphone that isn't turned on. I'll keep doing it. 
And I think uh, my, no, mine doesn't work. No, no yours, yours does. Yours is on, dude. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, All on. Oh, we're live here. All right, very good. Live. Okay, I think this we. This is Devin. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That was the most complicated introduction was, I've ever it? been through. Speedy Ortiz. Nothing's easy with Speedy Ortiz. <laughs> well, speaking of which, did the album come easy? It's a fantastic record, and I feel like uh, it sounds like you are working with some social issues as opposed to the last album, which was more personal, although you could say social issues are also very personal. Yeah, I think on the last record, um, we might have argued that the personal was political, but this one is sort of taking a much broader scope. Um, less inward gaze, more outward finger pointing at um, social issues. So. I'm presuming that maybe you had a little bit more time, as you said, you went off uh, to rural Connecticut. Was uh, that something sort of uh, that you didn't have making previous records? Was that a luxury? Um, it was the first time that I'd written specifically for a record rather than just accumulating songs over um, a period of years for the last record. So uh, these were mostly written in about a month and the band is our day job now for the most part. Uh, and I treated it that way in terms of the songwriting and kind of tried to write like three songs a day. Maybe someday we'll have like a triple album foil diary issue with all the songs we didn't use. But. I, I love your lyrical style. It's quite wordy and I like how much you pack so much in there. And it, you can definitely tell there's a theme or a story there, but you can't quite exactly tell what your story is. I love the way that you puzzle it together. I'm wondering, um, you know, is that a style that you have just sort of, do you, do you intentionally do that? Yeah, or? I think even writing it feels like a bit of a puzzle, um, making sure that the phrase is exactly right. I've never been drawn to lyrics that are either blatant or anthemic in terms of um, being obvious or rallying in that kind of way. So I've always liked lyrics that are a bit off kilter or that I have to work to, to grasp. And um, even in writing, that's always a kind of a nice, fun part of it when I wind up surprising myself, uh, starting with one phrase and getting to another. You've been compared lyrically in some times to Pavement, which is a band I know you love, and there's a lot of touchstones in yeah, your we sound. Yeah, we were hanging out with the Jicks uh, the other night. They're great folks yes. and great, yeah. great songwriters and performers. I read recently, though, and it isn't a surprise when I think of the wordiness of your music, but you're quite enamored with uh, hip hop artists and rap. And uh, I, I actually just saw Lizzo. You this, saw Lizzo this weekend, oh, wow. which was great. But I also know you love Nicki Minaj. And um, again, on the surface, that might seem strange when you hear your sort of alternative sound. But when I listen to your wordplay, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, she's a she's a hero. <laughs> Great writer. And is is that music that you have always listened to or Yeah, I think yes. I, we all grew up listening to a lot of different kinds of things. I mean on your song Puffer you have definitely your lyrical style is evident, but it's got kind of an R V vibe to me, I feel like. Totally. Yeah, that's what we were R hoping B? for. R and yeah, yeah, R oh, recreation, a recreational yeah. vehicle vibe. Get in the RV and put on the, hi the hip hop. <laughs> That's your man like the Faith No More song, RV. <laughs> I don't know, like the fast food chain. R and V. Well, since I'm not able to talk but clearly anymore, how about I defer to another song? We've uh, got Speedy Ortiz live on KEXP. Why don't we do Puffer? <laughs> sure. Okay.
RV vibe after all. <laughs> Speedy Ortiz live on KEXP. What have you got next? Uh, we're going to play Ginger. Ginger. Everybody's gotten wasted. I just put my teeth in in the shadows of the party lights Order in the court of offers play and plead Just like a bad cop with the blood I want to fall out and fall inside And it's with the leaves I'm feeling time Why? Ortiz playing tonight at Barboza in Seattle. Foil Deer, the brand new album out on Car Park Records. Thank you again so much for coming in. It's so great to have you. Yeah, it's really fun to be back here. You've got Speedy Ortiz live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.